Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of uh, 3D Boxing Podcast. It's another uh, edition of Quick Hits. Uh, we're going to do two a day, which we started yesterday. Um, fix that. Okay. We're going to be doing two a day. Um, I did a episode on Ryan Garcia um, versus uh, Manny, Manny Pacquiao on the update and all that on um, Thursday. Uh, unfortunately... It never recorded. There was no. I mean, recorded. There was no sound. So we're gonna redo that uh, episode because there's some news in it, and it's a popular topic. And uh, I got a lot of response. All of them were there's no audio. I, I don't know what happened. I'll, I'll try to delete that one. I'm gonna redo the show today. Um, but you know, it's two big names. It's two stars in the welterweight division. Uh, well, one in the welterweight division, one in the lightweight division. Uh, it's two. Superstar, so I think it deserves a show. Um, yeah, I did this two days ago. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, follow and share on all forms of social media. I'm giving you guys a lot of content. I'm doing two shows a day, just quick hits, eight to ten minute shows. Um, just give you a, the latest up to date on what's going on in the world of boxing. Um, again, today's up and share it on all forms of social media. Um, it's the only way to get it out there. It's free for you guys. Uh, Eric Gomez says, uh, and he talked to Team Pacquiao. That they talked, um, and he said it's not likely. Um, he said they talked about it. Uh, he, he talked with Team Pacquiao. Really, not much came of it. Eric Gomez is, uh, I guess the, you would say, the chief second in charge of Golden Boy. Like he's kind of runs their day to day uh, operations. Um, he said they definitely had a talk with Pacquiao and his team, uh, but he didn't think much was going to come from it. Flip that around, though, King Rye himself. Uh, Ryan Garcia says the opposite. Uh, he said his 2021 will be Pac and then Tank Davis. Um, so he is seems to be in on this. He says it's not going to be an exhibition, which was supposed to be an exhibition originally. Ryan Garcia says it's not going to be an exhibition. He's going to fight Manny Pacquiao, which I think is great. Um, the exhibition thing seemed ridiculous to me as both fighters are still active fighters. Um you know, they're separated by two weight classes. We sit all the time, but Pacquiao is a catchweight king. So I don't know why they couldn't fight Ryan, Ryan Garcia at 143, let's say. Right? Like, why couldn't that happen? Um, I think the fight makes a lot of sense. I think it's a kind of 50 50 fight. Look, if M Manny Pacquiao is a slight betting favorite, we're going to get into that next. Uh, if Manny Pacquiao is close to what he was when he fought Keith Thurman, then he'll run through Ryan Garcia. But, like, and this is a big but, Manny Pacquiao is 42. You just lose it overnight. You don't get better at 42. You get worse. And you may get drastically worse. So what we know is he's not going to be as good as he was when he fought Keith Thurman. What we don't know is how close is he to the Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman. If he's close, if he hasn't aged and regressed that badly, he will win this fight. If he has, then Ryan Garcia could do this, right? And if Ryan Garcia wins this fight, He's a superstar. He's next level superstar. He is the face of boxing, um, along with Canelo, and Golden Boy has their go. You know, has their Golden Boy. Um, but we don't know. You know, we're gonna get to the betting favorite. Ryan Garcia could win this fight. He's got to shore up his defense, right? Because he's still look. He got dropped by um, Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell is not a puncher. Luke Campbell's a gifted boxer. Luke Campbell's got skills. Luke Campbell does not have a fraction of the power that Manny Pacquiao has. Uh, if Campbell can land that big a shot, that means Pacquiao can land that big a shot. If Pacquiao lands it, it's, it's game over. Ryan loses. Um, so he's got to show up his defense. He's got to use his range. He's got to use his physical height and reach advantage. Um, and, and that's how he'd win this fight. But he's got to shore up his defense. He's got leaky defense. He can't get hit with big shots like he did against Luke Campbell in this fight. Um, I, I think at a long-range 
sniper contest and a long range chess match, I think Ryan Garcia wins. I really do. Um, so I think Ryan Garcia's path to victory is boxing him um, at the long range and then trying to slow him down and then trying to hurt him late. Whether that means gets him out or, or not, who knows? But I think Ryan Garcia, if Pacquiao has aged badly, certainly has a chance to win this fight. Certainly has a chance to win this fight. Uh, Pacquiao's just got to get in there on the inside and throw a whirlwind of punches. If he's got enough luck in the tank, he'll win. If he doesn't, he could lose. Um, so the betting odds. The betting odds in this is, are, are interesting. Um, Pacquiao is a minus 140. So he, he, he's a, a slight favorite. Danny, uh, Danny Garcia. Ryan Garcia is a plus 110, which means he's basically even money. Betting on Ryan Garcia basically gets you even money. It means if you bet a dollar, you win a dollar and 10 cents. Right? You win bet one, you win 1.1. 1. 1. Um, it's basically even money. To me, that says that the odds are going to move. The, I mean, the, to me, it says the odds are going to move. What you're going to see is a lot of small bets, $10 bets, $20 bets, $5 bets, coming in on King Rye because he is a star, right? You're going to have a bunch of teenagers betting $10 on Ryan Garcia. What you're also going to get is the big money, the significant money coming in on Pacquiao, the ten, twenty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 bets coming in on Manny Pacquiao. Um, so I do expect the line to move, but it's not going to move as much as you think. I think... By the time we get to the fight, maybe King Rai is getting plus 130, maybe plus 140. I don't see it moving much more because he's going to get bombarded with small bets, just like Conor McGregor did in, in the Floyd Mayweather fight, right? You got a, a bunch of silly people who bet, you know, $5 on Conor McGregor. But where does the big money come in? But it doesn't move as much as you think because there are so many silly people who bet on it, who bet their $5, $10, $20 on it. Um, that it kind of, you know, you get a hundred of those and then you get one guy who bets $25,000. So it doesn't, that $20,000 is going to move it, but it's not going to move it as much as you think. So I would expect those odds to stay pretty close to what they are. They will widen a little bit, but it's not going to get to like plus 300, which is what you might think it would be. Um, so one last thing is, um, Chepo Reynoso who is the trainer of Ryan Garcia and, of course, uh, Canelo Alvarez, says that he doesn't like this fight for Ryan. He, and he wants to take Davis' fight. Well, I want to take Davis' fight, too. Um, that would be, to me, the biggest indicator that this fight's not going to happen. I, I think Ryan is a smart kid. I think he's got a good head on his shoulder. I think he looks at Chapo. He looks at Canelo and says, that's where I want to go. I'm going to listen to Chap Chapo. So that, to me... Is but at the end of the day, like Ryan's still a boss. It's Ryan's career. But I think that he would take that into consideration. And if Chepo is really against it, I don't think he'll take it because he wants to get to where Canelo is. To me, that's a bigger indicator than what anything Eric Gomez says, right? Because Eric Gomez doesn't make decisions. You know, they work for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia says, "Make the fight. You make the fight. He's your star. You you, you can't bite the hand of another star." Um, but we're gonna come back uh, later on today. Have another show. Uh, today, not sure on the topic yet. Um, there's a couple of ideas floating around, um, but make sure to check that out. I get two shows every day, Monday through Saturday. I'll probably do one show on Sunday, uh, but um, follow me all forms of social media 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, share with a friend. Um, and it is February 6th, 2021. Ivan Calderon, the Iron Boy, is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get Ivan Calderon into the Boxing Hall of Fame from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.